Okay guys, so today I am filming another one of these videos. If you haven't seen the first one, I did a comparison of a Natasha Denona palette. So I compared the Mini Nude to the e.l.f. Cream and Sugar palette, which is $3. So I did a $3 versus $25 battle because I was curious to see if these were dupes and if you guys are interested to see what my conclusion was, I'll try and remember to link that for you guys. It seemed like you guys really liked that video, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it again. And this time, I am battling it out with two palettes again. One is a Natasha Denona Mini. This is the Mini Retro Palette. That was very recently released. You guys may have seen a ton of your favorite YouTubers reviewing that palette and I am going to battle it out with the Give Me Glow Vintage Rose Palette. So this palette I had recently featured in a like spring palette recommendation video and I had mentioned in that video that I hadn't actually filmed like a look with this palette for my channel and I asked you guys to request like which palette you wanted me to feature and a lot of you had asked me about this palette. A lot of you are really curious about whether you should purchase this or not. I do believe this is currently out of stock on the Give Me Glow website but I have a feeling this will restock eventually, so keep an eye out. I don't know if it's limited edition or not, but yeah, I was planning on just filming a review with the mini retro, but I thought this would be a fun battle because I feel like these pink shades in here and the little pink shades in here remind me a lot of each other. And then it was so hard to tell if you guys have seen promo shots of this palette. It was so hard to tell if this was a gray or a green. Some places made it look green. Some places made it look gray. To me, it's like a really brown gray. But I don't know. I don't know. The, the shade really looked very green in some photos. So I really wasn't sure, but I thought it'd be kind of fun because I feel like there are some dupes in here. So as with my e.l.f. battle, I'm not going to tell you which palette is on which eye. And we'll see if you guys are able to tell which one is which. A lot of you guys were fooled in the last video and a lot of you weren't fooled. A lot of you were able to tell which one was which. So I think this would just be really, really fun. So I have worn the Natasha Denona palette one time on my eyes and the Give Me Glow palette I have worn a few times, but I haven't worn it recently so I don't really remember too, too much. I don't think it'll be like a detriment if I try it again. So that's what I'm going to do today. Also, the Give Me Glow palette is $34. Like I said, it is currently out of stock. So, I don't have the exact crease colors in both. So, I'm going to go into one of the palettes first. I'm going to lay down a crease color. I'm using a Sonia G brush to do this. And I'm just going to blend this out. I definitely have some thoughts on the Natasha Denona um, shadow palette but I thought this would be kind of a fun way to do a review slash like battle um, because my thoughts aren't like that much on this palette because it's such a small palette so I figured it would make sense for me to do like incorporate the vintage rose as well that way we could do a little more in one video instead of just like oh here's this little palette and this is what I think and the video is done in like five minutes so that is the crease color on the one eye now I'm just cleaning off my brush and I'm gonna set the crease color with the other palette on this eye I felt like the elf and the Natasha Denona were pretty close um, this one I think is more of like a dupe the vibe but I definitely have in my mind which palette is going to be the winner. Like, in my mind, I already feel like I know. But most of you were pretty shocked in the previous battle. So we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so my main shade is done on both eyes. Now I'm going to go in to one more shade. I just want to deepen out the outer corners a little bit. So I'm going to tap into a darker color and I'm going to set that over here. I 
Okay, that looks nice and blended on that eye. Now I'm gonna go into the other palette, dust it off a little bit and apply. Okay, great. Now I need to find a flat, clean brush, which is kind of hard to do sometimes in my collection. Okay, so this is a Sonia G Builder Pro. This is like my favorite Sonia G brush. I love the shape of it. It's a flat, but like really thick brush. And now we're gonna pick out a lid color. So there's a shade I want to use. I think I'm gonna use this one wet because it's definitely a little flaky looking. So we'll just give it one little spritz. Ooh, it's so pretty. This is beautiful. It has like some beautiful like pink and blue sparkles in it. Definitely did not notice that the first time I tried it out. Ooh, that is so pretty. Okay, love, what do you guys think? And then I cleaned it off and now I'm gonna go in to the other eye, pick something up, spray the brush. Just wanted to blend because I sometimes I get a little wild on the glitter and I throw a little too much into the crease, which is not what I want. Really bothers me when shimmer gets into my crease. I don't know why, it's so silly. Okay, I just want a little bit more here. Okay, I better stop before I go overboard. Okay guys, so there is the two eyes. I am done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some foundation on and I'll be right back and you guys can tell me which eye you think is which brand um, in the comments while uh, I do that. Okay guys, so here is the final look. One palette on one eye and the other palette on the other eye. So have you guys had a chance to put in your guess about which palette is on which eye? I feel like this one is pretty easy, pretty dead giveaway. I think as soon as I put down my crease shade on this eye, but drum roll and on this eye, I have the Natasha Denona Retro Palette, this little mini guy. And then on my other eye, I have the Vintage Rose Palette. I feel like the crease shade I used was a did giveaway. It was called Rust Rose. And then on the outer corner, I used the shade Age Rose Stem, which I thought was gorgeous. And then on my lid, I use the shade Blossom. And then on this eye, I use the only like neutral matte on the crease, this gray green shade on the outer corner. And then I kind of mix these two shades for the lid. So with each of my reviews, I kind of try to answer a few different questions. But the main question I'm trying to ask myself is if this palette is gonna be friendly towards people with my skin tone, tan girls, brown girls, deep girls, because I've seen a lot of lighter skinned YouTubers review this palette and rave about how much they love this. But to be honest, my first go around with this palette, I was doing my makeup for work and I found this palette to be very lackluster. I thought the shades hardly showed up on me. I was actually really sad because I have the Natasha Denona Mini Gold palette and it's such a beautiful palette that I was so excited to see another mini palette with a color story I really like. But honestly, this palette is not for 
people that want a bright, bold eyeshadow look, you can create a very beautiful, soft look with this. It's very specific, but if you're looking for something with a little more va va voom, I would probably suggest her goal palette or even her love palette that she came out with for like February. It is a bit of a bigger palette, so you can't get away with that $25 price point, but for $34, the Vintage Rose Palette is a great, great dupe to the Retro Palette, in my opinion. And also so much more because look at the size of these pans. Like, oh my gosh. I don't usually pay attention to grams and ounces and stuff like that. But this is each shadow is 0 0.8 grams. On the Vintage Rose, it doesn't say, but I'm sure I can find it on their website. I'll try and remember to put it here, but I feel like all the eyeshadow in here equates to the five pans in this palette because they are so tiny, which isn't really a bad thing for me personally because you guys know I have a lot of eyeshadow and I'm never going to go through all my eyeshadow, but I feel like the... Let me just, let me just show you. <laughs> I feel like the mattes and the shimmers from Give Me Glow are just honestly like out of this world. They're so buttery. You guys know this is one of the best indie brands out there for shimmer shades. Their mattes are gorgeous. I think they did a little bit of work on their formula. Even from some of the palettes I own from earlier times, the newer ones are chef's kiss in my opinion so i'm really excited for their new palette that they're coming out with for summer i think it's called like spicy or hot and spicy or something like that but like look at these and then like look at this so that's what i was disappointed by when i tried the retro i was like eh, you can't even see it and then by the end of the day it really looked like i didn't have any eyeshadow on so that is my kind of review on the whole thing. I personally would pick the Vintage Rose by Give Me Glow. I would pass on the palette, but all is not lost, my friends, because this little guy, oh my gosh, she is like my favorite thing ever. I'm wearing this blush on my cheeks today. I love these like glowy blushes that Natasha Denona does. I have a full size of one called Alba, and she did like a pink shade. I love the Alba blush that comes in a single. I haven't really had the best luck with her palettes, plus I feel like her face palettes are really expensive. And then she mixes in so many other textures and formulas, and some people really love those, but it's not really my jam. But this formula from her is amazing. I don't even know, it's called the Glow Powder Blush in Bloom. I think this is in the Bloom face palette. I'm not sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but Ooh, this is so good. Like, if she could make, like, a few different shades in this, like, I, I would like to request, like, maybe, like, could we do, like, 10 or 20 shades? <laughs> I would probably buy all of them. They're so glowy. They melt into your skin. This is so flattering for people with my skin tone. So, I'm telling you, if that Sephora sale is still happening when you guys see this video, put that on your wish list pick it up you'll thank me later it's probably gonna be the glowiest prettiest blush for summer so that is everything I think if I missed anything let me know don't forget to check out that elf video with the mini nudes I think you guys would enjoy that if you enjoyed this video thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye guys